Oh baby, are we about to have some fun. NCAA 14, finally starting this. I used to play this game all the time when it first came out, back in 2013 or whatever it was. Played this game so much. Because of the state the Madden's in, really not too interested in that. So we are going to start doing some dynasties. Taking over the worst team in the game right now. The New Mexico Lobos. Starting from the bottom. See what we can do. Bring out a brand new head coach. Jack Tempers coming from Texas. Coached a couple high school teams. Got promoted, took this job. Open and turn it around. Within five years, I would love to be competing for a national title. I don't know if it's possible. We're going to see. Recruiting is a huge part of it. I don't remember how to do a lot of the stuff in this game. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, the menus, it kind of brings back some memories, but honestly, I don't remember a whole bunch. So the scouting, the gameplay, all that stuff is going to be brand new for me. But as the series goes on, we're going to get it ironed out. We're going to, we're going to get it precise we're gonna get more challenging it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm looking forward to this coach skill tree is one of the first things i do somewhat remember this the team is very bad so offense defense none of it's really gonna be that great so recruiting is gonna be the number one thing that we're gonna want to focus on i do remember back in the day uh it was kind of easy uh to get a little bit overpowered on recruiting so for that i think i'm going to wait on doing recruiting and we're going to go offense first. Uh, and it looks like the only thing that we can do right here is up tempo. We're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade that to level one. And then once we get more upgrades, we'll go ahead and get all the rest of this brought up. And breaking down the 2022 at New Mexico Lobos really quick. At quarterback, Miles Kendrick. Starting running back, Junior Sherrod White. At wide receiver one, sophomore Luke Wysong. Wide receiver two, sophomore Austin Erickson. Slot wide receiver, senior... Jordan Porter, starting tight end, sophomore Trace Bruckler, starting left tackle, sophomore JC Davis, left guard, senior Isaac Gutierrez, sophomore Colin James, six foot four at center, 68 overall, at right guard, sophomore, and I'm probably gonna butcher this, Shanko Matotia, 68 overall, and finally for the offensive line, right tackle, junior DJ Wingfield, 69 overall, at left end, sophomore Ian Shewell, 66 overall, right end senior Justin Harris, senior Jake Saltonstall, defensive tackle one and DT two, sophomore OJ Bartley, 67 overall, left outside linebacker senior Rico Hanna, 69 overall, middle linebacker junior Ray Lutelli, 72 overalls, MLB two, sophomore Deion Hunter, 71 overalls, right outside linebacker junior Sayer Riley, CB one junior Dante Martin, the secondary is actually pretty decent for this team. You can see there, 75 overall. TB2 does kind of take a little job off. Sophomore AJ Autumns. And for slot, you got sophomore Josh Williams. Free safety, senior Jarek Reed. It does say strong safety. Uh, in this game, I forgot, you can't change positions. Strong safety, junior Tavian Combs. So we'll have him for at least two seasons. Kicker is senior George Steinkamp, 66 overall. And finally, punter. He's a junior, Aaron Rodriguez, 72 overall. And because we're not gonna be able to fill everybody in with recruiting this first year, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and redshirt some of these freshmen. So Ellis will go ahead and redshirt. Left end, 70 speed, we could let him. Mar Sanders, Zach Morris will go ahead and do. Maybe Marquise. Let me know what you guys think. If you see any of these guys, like if we should do Halsey or Jones. Let me know if you think that they should be redshirted as well. So in any NCAA game, my favorite part was always the recruiting. I always love looking at the prospects, seeing how they would be, and then put the end of the year when you see what they're actually gonna go to. If they're gonna come to your team after all the promises and the visits and all that stuff. The one thing I do remember is athletes, there's a lot of them. And as a smaller school, there's some of the easier ones to be able to get. I don't only wanna scout athletes, I do want to kind of mix it up. They can usually be the higher rated guys. The ones that are up on the board are usually athletes and then you just pick whatever position they're the highest at and you stick them in there. I kind of want to limit the amount of athletes that we get. I kind of do want to get specific positions. So we're going to take a look. So you can see the Spark 100. We're not going to have to worry about that. Nobody's going to New Mexico if you're a top 100 guy. You're going to a power five school. So we got to limit our expectations. Maybe down the road if we recruit enough people 
we can kind of throw some at four and five star recruits, but we just got to focus on two and three stars right now. So we're going to take a look here. We're going to see, you know, you can see this guy. Are we just not, not even able to? I mean, he's got Alabama, Notre Dame, and Ohio State, so. Ohio State's in a lot of these guys. So like I said, these five stars, we're not going to worry too much about it. We are going to focus more on our area. So we're in his top three. It's 40 is a 4.74. So the green, does that mean? I don't remember what that means. We're gonna go ahead and target him. A couple three stars. We got a four star here, wide receiver, six feet. Go ahead and scout him. If you guys see anybody on this that I don't scout or I miss, or because I don't remember how a lot of this stuff works, like obviously 40 times is pretty self-explanatory, but if there's like a specific thing that I need to be looking for, just let me know in the comments down below just let me know what i should be looking for i'm really just looking at size for wide receivers i don't want too many small guys especially if they're slow baker six foot three pocket passer 65 on the spark we could throw one at him so the green i guess means that they're relatively high on coming to us defensive end isn't really one of the big ones that we need offensive line is we'll go there so i went into the pipeline uh obviously because that is more in line with what we currently have on the team. It might be a little bit easier bringing some of these guys in. So it's got California, Texas, New Mexico as our pipeline states. You need six to be able to, to maintain a pipeline status. So we're projected 13, 14, 16. Louisiana, let's see if there's anybody in Louisiana. Kind of bump that up. They got, wow, they have a lot actually. Kansas, Texas a and and LSU. Chance of us getting him are very, very slim. Four, four, eight. Go ahead and scout him. Taking a look at these, Tulane, Rice, OSU, six foot one. He's a speed guy. We can go ahead with that. Texas, yeah. These guys, they got those. Boston College, Minnesota. Um, as a guard, mm, five point one two as a guard. That's that's tough. Adrian Cantrell, yeah. He's got some good schools up there already. Ohio State, halfback. I mean, we do need some speed at, at halfback. He's got a circle there, so he's not even, yeah, these guys. I mean, if he wants to go to Louisiana, is he gonna come this way? Maybe. 464, he's six foot two. Six foot seven is a tight end, that's pretty good. Uh, he doesn't want to come here though. I just got excited about that size. So there's an athlete, so there's actually not that many athletes. And if I remember right, mostly they're, what are they, cornerbacks and wide receivers? Which isn't bad, Four, he's six two. I mean, he's got Louisville, Arkansas out there, but we take a little flyer on him. I would love to steal some of these guys from Louisiana Tech. Run blocking guard, 496, 6 for 5. Three star, Mississippi State, Tulane, UTEP. He's a tackle, 5.1. 6 for 7, though. He's a big dude. All right, so back in the main hub, we're going to look at quarterbacks first. I would like somebody with some size, 6 for 3. Scrambling quarterback, 4 6 in the 40. Four star, he wants to go to Air Force. We'll throw one at him. None of these guys want to play for us. They're going to regret it. Give it a couple years. Six foot four and a scrambler. I like it. I like that a lot. Pocket passer, six foot three. We got a green light on him. We can bring him in for some depth. Xavier Lucas, six feet again. I mean, I'm not judging, you know, Kyler Murray, Drew Brees, but because with this offensive line, these guys are going to be under duress quite a bit <laughs> until we build it up, so. Desmond Craft, 6'4", Navy, Army, and Nevada. Military man. We'll try it. I like the power guys. I like a little bit of size. U.S. Florida. Eric Rivero. I'm throwing at him. I don't know too many four-star halfbacks that are going to want to come here, to be honest. We do need some team speed, so it's one of the things that I'm kind of looking at. What are you doing, Jude? Winter Garden, Florida. 4440. 511. I went to him too. There's a lot of four star running backs. 6'2 and he runs a 446. Guy right under him, six feet, he runs a 436. I want to get this team speed up, baby. All right, let's take a look at some cornerbacks. 6'3, he runs a 44. Texas, Texas. Oh, yeah, he's Garland, Texas. Yeah, this Texas man right there. 5'11, 448. We could try it. 6'1, 4'4, 270 on bench, 235 squad. He's going to be weak. 5'10 again. Hard hitter. My brothers. All right. 315 on bench, 215 on squad. That's the lowest that I've seen so far. Let's finish it off on some safeties, some free safeties. We do need, we do need free safety depth. 370 on bench. And one more, Ben Newton. And in the first game of the season, we are going to be taking on the University of Texas San Antonio, the Roadrunners. That should be a battle. 
We're gonna see if we're gonna be able to get the Lobos up. Like I said, in my mind, I wanna try and turn this program around in five seasons. That is the goal. We're gonna see what he's gonna be able to do. I Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to this series. The New Mexico Lobos. Let's get it, baby.